for cheap FIFA 23 coins. Make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout to get yourself a 5% discount. Welcome to your comprehensive guide of how to complete league SPCs efficiently. Guys, first of all, before we get into the video, make sure if you're enjoying the content, you leave a like on the video and you subscribe to the channel. This content is going to take a lot of time to build, but I really appreciate you guys watching. And let's get into the video. So first of all, we need to look at these two SBCs and which one is better to grind. So you've got the Winter League Upgrade. This one is not worth grinding. The Premium Winter League Upgrade is 100% worth grinding, even though one of the squads in this are very expensive, and that is going to be the League Earn and the Arena VC. It's very, very expensive, but today I'm going to show you how to go through and get this done for very cheap. Guys, you're going to need about 100,000 coins to start this. Once you've got 100,000 coins, you'll easily be able to complete this and get this going over and over and over and over and over. But it's going to require a lot of patience and a lot of grinding. So, first of all, guys, we're going to go into the store and we're going to have to grind some bronze pack methods. All right, guys, so the kind of idea behind this is to kind of stock your club up with poor bronzes that don't have any utility at all. And then the ones that do have utility, you are going to want to sell. So, um, we've got nothing here really of any note. I doubt he's selling um, because you need a high rating on the Bundesliga slash Serie A part of the SBC. But any sort of Americana cards you get or any Lib cards you get are going to be worth a lot of coins. So you're kind of banking on that to make you your coins up. And then what you're going to be able to do is store the rest of the content that you do get, which is just really nice. As you, oh my God. Look at that. Just straight away. Looks like we have got a card here that's worth like at least 3,000 coins. We'll put him up for 2.8. We'll get him gone. And my controller's almost dead, but that doesn't matter right now. And then just discard the rest, guys. And keep the players. Definitely, definitely, definitely keep the players. I'm um, just going to see our coin balance just vary quite a lot. And fluctuate quite a lot. But the idea is, guys, to just try and get as much as you can in the club. Any league earn players or Eredivisie players are very, very welcome. You can see here that this isn't a very profitable pack. But you get 100 or oh, 120 coins per time you discard the contracts and the kits, etc, etc. Another great thing about doing this, guys, is you're going to stock your club full of League SPC cards other than the ones that are currently in the premium one. And what I mean by that is, you know, because this seems like EA's way of kind of bringing out the League SPC straight away, but not actually bringing them out properly. You know, a lot of people are complaining that we didn't get League SPCs earlier. And because these are only here for like 20 days, I imagine we'll get more. I imagine we'll get more from like the MLS, um, the uh, Saudi League, so on and so forth. So it's a really good way to stock them kind of cards as well. And of course, you know, selling the content where you can as well is really important. But, you know, a lot of the cards don't sell. Your main profits from this is going to be managers and then Sun Americana slash Lib cards. So make sure you're keeping that in mind. It's not an issue, really. Just go and spend like 30, 40,000 coins on this. And yes, you will not make profit every pack, but it's really good to stock the club up as well for the next step. And here you go, guys. Here's a perfect pack for you. So these are all on league, league SPC players right now as well. And whilst this Gabri doesn't actually fit into the squad for the La Liga, he's a good card to pick up. Yes, I know the 79 rated squad is a bit much to bring these kind of players in, but you probably still can fit him in. Same with this Bayer Leverkusen player as well. He can definitely fit in to the Bundesliga side. And same with the Wolfsburg player as well. And these cards are going to be discard. But they're actually quite usable. Um, and they're quite effective for that. Um, so yeah, you know, you're going to be paying five, 600 coins for goalkeepers and uh, centre mids in the Bundesliga side. So you can kind of negate that with these bronzes you get here. And then discard the rest of that. So that's a full pack there that's going to be used for the League SBC. Um, and actually not used for upgrades at all. So that's really, really nice. That was actually our free bronze pack as well. Let's get into some more. And here you go, guys. Here's another pack that's actually worth selling. So you've got a Sudamericana here in Acosta. And we're going to put him up for, it looks to be like a 1,000 coins for him. Which, once again, is just nice. It's nice, you know, you pay for the pack and then some. You've stored two more cards into the club. And you've got the discard here of 200 coins for the rest of the bronze pack. Which is just great value. Um, and it's great to be able to make coins very, very quickly there. All right, guys, so you look at this pack here and you think, oh, that's such a dead pack, right? And none of these this content is really going to sell. So what you need to do is just store all of this into the club and it will be used in a later segment of this video. So just don't get too upset if you get a pack that's worth absolutely nothing. 
Here we go, guys. Here's our first Libertadores card. We're going to see how much he's worth. He's a left back. He's Uruguayan. Rodriguez. Let's see how much this card is worth. Not sure he's really worth all that much, but I'm very interested to see how much he is worth. Looks like 2K, 1800. Looks like we're about to get like 1500 for this card, which is quite nice. That's how easy it is, guys. You know, uh, you, you get these packs and you just sell them ones and then you store the rest into the club and you get the discard here for 200 coins once again and you're just banking. You're banking. You're getting good coins whilst also storing lots of bronzes for the next segment of this video and the next segment of the grind. And it is just really, really easy to do. Uh, you've got to get a little bit lucky, but as I said, the coins will pay for themselves when you get cards like that. And you get them every other pack as well, which is quite nice. Here we go, guys. I said every other pack, and this is the pack after the, the every other pack that like I just said. And we've got another Sudamericana card. And yes, he's 63 rated, so he's not going to work too well for the SPC, but he's still worth something. 1,800 coins I see there. So let's put him up for 1,200. And there you go. That's the pack paid for once again. And you just discard all of this again. 136,000 coins that time. And yeah, guys, just so easy to do. All right, guys. So we've got our first manager here. And it's going to be a Brazilian manager. Now, I don't actually know how much they're worth. I don't think they show up on the market. I don't know if they're extinct. I'm going to put them up for 5k. And I'm going to hope he is extinct. But that's an insane amount of profit from that pack right there. There we go, guys. We have got another Sudamericana card here. And he looks to be expensive. Looks to be about 2k for this one, which is really, really nice. And more coins in the club. That Brazilian manager did sell, by the way, for 5k. Insane, insane profits here. It's just so easy to do. We're going to put him up for 2.4. Just to get him sold quickly. You don't want to undercut too much. But that is a good amount of profit just from that pack there alone. 7.5k profit, essentially, from the last five packs, which is just crazy. All right, guys. And here we go with another monster pack. So we've got a bronze pack in here as well which we're just going to redeem real quick. And these two cards are pointless, but this PSG card is really, really important. If you get any cards like this, you're going to be able to complete the Liga and the SPC a lot better, especially PSG. I think PSG is the cheapest if you get a bronze or a silver from um, PSG, of course. But I think what I'm going to do, guys, is he's 3K. I'm going to sell him. I'm going to get the coins for him, and we're going to hope... And bank on the method later on. That we're going to be able to get a few players from there instead of getting the PSG players from the bronze packs. Alright guys, so I've now spent a lot of time on bronze packs. I'm going to quickly go and see what we've sold. And we've packed a few very good things in here too. So, look at this. So we've got 2.8k for him, 1500 for him, 3.2 for him, 12, 12, 18, 1200 again, 1100 there, 1200 there, 1200 there. And then we have also got 1000 for him, 1300 for him, 5k for the Brazilian manager. We've got a few more things selling as well. Now, guys, it's very, very important that you sell all of the area of VC slash league earn players that you do get. And I think I actually missed one of the bronzes. Well, the bronze that we did get was this guy here. And I recommend that you sell everything that you do get from these nations. Um, oh, sorry, not these nations, from this league. Look at that, 1,000 there. Probably get him gone for closer to like 1,200. And we've got Enjo as well. Let's see how much he's worth. And he is currently trading at, looks to be about 15, 1400. So let's try and get him gone for like 13. Let's quickly go to the Eredivisie. You know, you can look at your silvers as well if you want to. The silvers will be worth a fair amount of coins, as you can see here. If you want to get that gone, you can. Um, you know, you're at least going to make like 3k off these at the very, very, very least. Which is just insane. Um, and you know, it's, it's good coins to put back into your club. Whilst we're going to be getting it all untradeable. So there you go, guys. There's a few gone there. Let's go to the area of VC and just take a look. And that's the English division. There you go. So from the area of VC, we have this Velhurst guy. He looks a bit expensive. Look at that. 4,000 coins minimum for him. So let's put him up for 3.6. Let's take a look at the bronzes too. We've got a lot of bronzes from here too, guys. So this guy isn't much because it's a bad club and he's a cam. Then we have got a Mofa who is not worth a whole lot either. Um, I imagine these kind of cards that are from bad clubs won't be worth selling. But I feel like Utrecht would be a decent one to sell. Yes, yeah, so Utrecht is a good one to sell. So as you can see here, guys, um, we've got at least 1,200 for him, which I imagine means Rawlins is going to be around the same sort of price. Um, even though he has a right wing back, it doesn't matter the positions. So we can get him gone for 1,400 as well, guys. And there you go. That's just coins back into the bank there. Um, and yes, it might take a bit more time to sell. 
but that's coins back into the bank so make sure you are doing that where you can all right guys so now the next step of this league SBC grind is going to be putting your poor bronzes that are irrelevant into the winter bronze upgrade and what this is going to do for you it's going to acquire you a lot of silvers for the area of vc slash league earner side of this and also the silvers for the sudamericana and libertadores and all you want to do is you want to probably go by league you want to put that on bronze it doesn't matter you don't need to put on low to high and just go championship and just pop all of these in and just go like this guys um, and you don't need any chemistry on this you just need to pop in i believe 11 bronzes is that right let me just check literally just 11 bronzes and you're gonna get your silvers into the club and that's gonna be great for you guys so just go through all of the bad leagues and just pop in 11 just bronzes it can be rares can be non-rares up to you whatever you want to do but just try and get rid of all of the poor bronzes that are in your club you go for to league one go to league two and just get all of them done where you can guys and this is going to net you a lot of silver packs four player silver packs and this is going to be great for the league SPC grind and we might have one more step after this which is going to help us but right now guys we need to go and grind through all of this so i'll bring you back once this is done all right then guys i've gone and grinded some of the bronze winter upgrade and how many packs did we get we got 24 overall which isn't the best but you see our coin balance going back up as well we're getting four players here right so it's really 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 good you're getting what 80 odd players here more like uh 90 96 i believe so there we go straight away we've got a leal player and he is 6k right now insane star and then these kind of cards here right guys you could use this guy here but then for ogbet chiche and jordan rhodes we can pop them into the gold common upgrade for the silvers which is just going to net us so much and to get a leal silver straight away is just brilliant um in way of there and i'm going to get a paolo victor which is no use to us at all we're going to get this italian uh, Roma guy here, Slavar. Oh my god, I remember him. I thought he was uh, from Belgium. Interesting. Okay, regardless, um, you can use him. You can put the rest of them once again into the gold common upgrade. And then, guys, we're going to keep on going. I'm going to keep you with me for all of these silver packs to show you why these are so valuable. Korean. I'm going to get a La Liga player there, which is actually quite good for the La Liga segment um, because they need cams. And then you've got not a whole lot else in there again. So. After the Liga guy, you can put all of them once again into the gold common upgrade, which is going to be nice. And hopefully you're going to get Liga and Eredivisie gold commons out of that because they are trading like four or 5,000 coins right now as well. So good to get them in your club too. Then we have got another La Liga player. Another Liga player. Very nice there in Juve. Very, very nice. And I know that club is kind of difficult to get cards in to the, the team. But, you know, if you've got a club that's got a lot of gold rares, that is what you want to be going for. Um, see, like a club like this, um, you know, just not very good for it because you're going to be paying a premium for the silvers, right? You know, that's an area of EC club. I think it's Emmon. So you don't really want to be going for someone like that. But then you can go for, you know, you need to try and get a, like a little bank of league and players kind of stored up. And what I mean by that is going to get a Lille player, going to get a PSG player, um, and going to get a Monaco player. Just so you have a bank ready to recycle over and over again. And that's the kind of idea behind it, right? A, a Premier League goalkeeper is good. Whilst not required, is still okay. And then once again, with the silver, also pretty decent. So we're getting some good stuff out of these guys, really. But the main focus is Eredivisie and Ligue 1. So we need to see a few more of them before we're done here. We're going to get French. We're going to get CDM. We're going to get an OGC. Oh, it's going to be, it's going to be Schneidlin. Unbelievable. There you go, guys. So Schneidlin's really, really good as you know niche is one of the best ones to do and he's expensive too look at that 4k for this card and we've just got him untradeable which helps us really really drop down the the first segment of the league svc which is really really nice we're gonna get a lib player here which is also quite nice let's see what lib player we do get it's gonna be alvarez and then we're gonna go and get nothing very good in this one i mean we've got this guy here he's expensive you know 1500 coins but overall, you know, it's not, it's not the best, you know. It's, it's a bad club that doesn't have a lot of gold rares in it. So you don't really want to be focusing on that club until you've got a lot of silvers from there done. But, you know, this silver Libertadores is really nice. As it just adds into the ability to use them into the lib side of it. I know you need eight golds in there. But the golds generally are quite cheap from the Libertadores and Sudamericana. I think more so into the lib. But still very nice. 
And is that League 1 or is that League 2 now? That's going to be League 2. So that's a really bad pack, that one, other than the Sid Americana card. The rest, once again, can go into the gold common upgrade. Then, guys, dropping in to the next one. Let's see what we can get out of this one now. We just want League 1. Just want League 1 EA. Come on now. Hook me up. I mean, that's okay as well. That's okay. You know, the silvers aren't necessarily requ required for... I can't get my words out. Required for the, um, the La Liga segment. But these do work. These two right here are nice. They're both in the right positions. You know, CDMs, good for that segment. And then the center back, also quite good for that segment. And then these last two can go straight back into the gold common upgrade, which is really, really nice. Into the next one we go, guys. We're halfway through on this pack here. I'm going to get a Ghanaian. Going to be a Cam. Who's that going to be? Poku, never heard of you, mate. Um, that's, a, that's a really bad pack. That's, that's a full pack there. That is going into the gold common upgrade, which is once again nice, but you need to be getting the league earned cards out of this, really. Let's see what we get in this one. It's going to be a left wing back. Uh, once again, very nice. Now, that's a good pack, right? You've got two Dutch and you've got a French league as well. So only one player out of the four here is going back into the gold common upgrade. That's what you want. You want to be banking up all of your silvers from the league earned and the Eredivisie VC to make your, your life a lot easier for reruns because that's the only one that's really expensive is the Liga slash Oda VC. So it's really nice to be getting cards like that. And then somebody like this, you know, a Serie A player, and he's not very good for anything other than the fact you can just pop him into that, that Serie A Bundesliga segment very easily and still get the rating with a card like that. So just as to you not going to the market at all, which is really nice. We're going to get French again. It's going to be him again. No, it's not going to be Iseric. He's a centre mid now. How interesting. Um, and this is, oh, that's a good pack, actually. That's really good. Getting a silver like that, guys, is really, really good. You know, PSG Silver now means that we will be doing PSG probably as the segment for the Liga and Slash the VC, which just is really, really good because I think the, the PSG is the cheapest by considerable distance because, of course, they've got the most rares. Next up is going to be Carter Vickers from Celtic. No use for him. So into the league SPC for, for that guy. Another Netherlands player there. And we've also got a uh, uh, limited Ores as well for this worth 1,600 coins. Very, very nice indeed there. Moving on to the next one, guys. We're going to do all of these on the live video. So let us see what we can keep getting. It's going to be Sweden this time. It's going to be CDM. It's going to be from Malmo. It's going to be a poor one here, I think. We're going to get we're going to get a Barcelona player, which is irrelevant. That's a really bad pack, that one. Uh, nothing really too good in that pack there. As we move on to the next, more league and players. Come on. OGC Nice or PSG, please. What are we going to get here? It's going to be uh, Severa. That's a uh, Liga 2 now, isn't it? Another full pack that's going into the uh, the gold common upgrade. And then the next up, we have, come on, Liga, please. Liga, or Limited or Res. I don't mind either or, really. We're going to get a German here. It's going to be Peterson. So that's okay. Um, not really worth anything, but still decent. Is he actually worth a penny? It's worth like a thousand coins to be fair to him, which isn't bad. Um, but you'd rock better better off just going and getting a gold common from, from the Bundesliga instead of getting him. So not too shabby at all. We've got Greek here, we've got CDM, we've got from Copenhagen, Zeka, another bad one here for the face card, and we've got our first duplicate. Uh, Korean, Australia, and then we also have uh, La Liga 2 once again, which is not good for us in the slightest and probably won't ever be good for anybody ever. This year, I don't think EA will ever do anything with La Liga 2. We've got English coming in here. We've got Bournemouth. We've got Stevens. That's okay. That's all right, I suppose. Then we have got nothing else in that one of any note. So we'll just store all of that. Last three packs here, guys. And then we'll go into the gold coming upgrade. Um, we haven't done too well in terms of getting League Earn or Eredivisie Silvers like from the same club. Um, but that's okay. You know, sometimes you're going to have to bite the bullet on the Liga and Slash Eredivisie side of it just because you know you don't get lucky in your packs unless you want to spam bronze packs for literally months um, you don't want to be stuck there too often so that is why you sometimes you just gonna have to bite the bullet guys that's okay once again you know another Serie A player that can go as a fodder spot in the uh, Serie A side of things and then the last silver pack is going to be who is it going to be Irish it's going to be Randolph from West Ham once again that's okay that is all right. And then we have got uh, we have got Venezia player, which is obviously Italian too now. And we've got another Sudamericana card who I don't remember actually getting, but he's worth a fair amount, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go and complete the segment 
that requires him now, guys, and I'll bring you back. All right, guys, I'm just going to bring you back here as well. Um, we're going to go through and do the third slash lib now, and I just want to bring you through how easy this is to do. I don't know how many I've got in the club of um, golds and stuff, but I want to show you how cheap it actually is without golds, essentially. So I've got a lot of golds here, but for example, let's just go to the market real quick. I know I've got a god in there, but if you just go and get Diego Godin, he should be cheap as chips. There you go, 700 for him. Marcos Rocco, who is another gold centre-back from the Lib. Cheap as chips for him as well. And then you've got, I believe, Diaz, which is another very cheap one. If we can find him, I don't know what his actual name is. I want to say Marcelo Diaz. Yeah, he is also really, really cheap. And then you can just go to Concepts and find the cheapest for you. Um, and once again, the ones that I've been using, I've been, for example, I've been using this guy an awful lot. And he's really cheap on the market. He's like 700 coins as well. Um, I know it doesn't show it there, but he, I promise you he has 700 coins. And we have a fair amount of cards here. And the way I would do this, guys, is I would use the libs, because the libs are cheapest. Uh, go and use Rocco, go and use Godin. Uh, I'd imagine he's expensive, so I'm not going to use him. I believe the two strikers there are also expensive. We'll go and use Advin Kula. And obviously what we need to do is make sure we don't have the same club in here, right? So let's go and pop these cards in here. So we can't use him because we've got... Okay, so let's take out Advin Kula then. Pop him in there, bring him out. And I believe there's a goalkeeper that's really cheap as well. I want to say Armani is really cheap. And we're going to have to go and buy Armani as well. So let's go and do that real quick. Of course, he's got a World Cup winner's medal now, so which is quite nice for him. 700 coins for him, guys. Cheap as chips there. And, you know, you've got your gold players starting to move in here now. And, of course, Diaz, once again, really, really cheap if you want to go and pick him up. And it's just easy to do, guys. It's just easy. Um, we don't actually have Diaz, so I might go and pick him up, actually. I think this Rodriguez is really cheap, too. Drop him in there. Let's go and get Diaz, because he's cheap as chips. I can't believe I don't have him, actually. Is it Marcelo Diaz, wasn't it? Marcelo Diaz, 700 coins, or 750 coins for him. There we go. Very nice and easy. That's another gold in to the segment there. And we only need two more golds, which is really, really nice. And what you can do here, guys, is you can just literally go and pluck out the cheapest that you don't have from clubs already. And just pop them in because you've already got the uh, the rating. And Friends of Leader, I'd imagine, is really cheap as well. We'll check him as well real quick. If I can remember how to spell his name. Um, I'd imagine he's cheap because he's a right wing. And he doesn't actually fit the, the, the segment, right? So you can pop him in. Of course, we can't here because we've got this guy. But try and get out of position cards after you've got the chemistry. And that is where it will become cheap for you guys. Um, that is what you want to do. Get out of position cards because then... I don't mean the, the, the promo out of position. I mean just the actual cards because they'll be cheap. Um, I'm going to pop in this Rodriguez here because we don't have him. And then we need one more gold card. So let's go and get this dude here. There you go. And then you, there's your golds. And then you just want to go and use the lowest rated from obviously clubs that you don't already have. And I'm going to use the Sudamericana for this because you get a lot more of these out of packs than you do the libs in my personal experience. And that's how easy that is to do, guys. And now we've managed to actually keep our Sudamericana silver that was here. So very, very easy to do, guys. And I know that's a bit out of the way because um, I didn't want to do that just yet. But because we've got a duplicate, I thought I'd show you there, guys. Let's get into the next part of the video. All right, guys. So now we have actually done that segment, even though I didn't really want to do it. Now all we need to do is just go into the premium silver winter upgrade and just pop in your silvers from leagues that you don't care about, right? So championship is a great start. Um, you know, Championship probably isn't going to get a league SPC this year. And we can just pop all of these in, and then you're going to get your five gold commons. And now five gold commons is really good. If you get 20 of these packs, man, you are banking. You're doing really, really well just off getting, you know, 10 of these packs. You're getting, you're getting 50 gold commons just there alone. And it's just so, so, so easy. And these gold commons, you're hoping you will be able to get a fair few league earns out of this, right? And this is where you're really, really, really going to get your, your coins back via this even though it's all untradeable you'll actually make a lot of coins from this sorry if i was dropping a little bit low there uh, my posture is really bad all the time i need to sort that out but this is the way you want to do it guys and yes you won't have a crazy load of these but you're going to end up finding out that like your your silvers that you've been stocking over the time of the, the game before these league spcs came out you're gonna have a fair amount there as well and you just want to pop all of these in and just hope and pray to the gods that you get a lot of um us oh, not silver gold commons from the uh the league because if you start getting them you are just in 
all sorts of good looks basically. So we're gonna go through and do these guys and I'll bring you back once they're done. All right guys, so we've got 10 of these five gold common player packs and that's gonna net us 50 gold commons. And let us just hope that we get a few league earned players in this. I'd imagine we would. I don't think it's too much to ask, but there you go. Starting off with Palois and Sergio Rico. Now that's quite scary. So I bet he's really expensive. Is he really expensive? Mm, not so much, but he is. We're going to discard him just to go through the video. That stings a little bit, but got to get it done. And yeah, just to get two straight off the bat there. This is where you're going to get your league earns from. And this is going to be really good for you guys, all right? So here we've got not a whole lot. We've got Dan Burn, which is okay for that segment. We've got Bell, which is going to be worth absolutely nothing. And, you know, this is just the way to do it, guys. This is the way to grind the league SPCs efficiently without spending a whole bunch of coins on that one segment. And, yeah, it just works really, really well. And this is a good pack, too, to get Lalana and Vieira. Whoa. And then also, well, actually, that's League 2 now. Not League 2, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. There's a lot going on right now. A lot of things, a lot of moving parts to this video. So, guys, if you are enjoying it, make sure you do leave a like on it. I'd really, really appreciate that. As this took a long time to record. Uh, but yeah, I needed to get this done anyway. What we've got here, we've got a, we've got a Lil player, which is really nice because we've already got that way up. We've got a Lil player there, and we've also got a Bundesliga player, and then nothing else really too good in here. We've got Reed there as well, which doesn't help us. And on to the next, another Lil player or a few Nice players or a PSG player would be really, really nice goalkeeper here from Montpellier. No, is that right? That is right, isn't it? Yeah, oh my god, I thought I got that wrong there for a second. Then we've got a Sudamericana card here as well, which is really nice. You've got Serie A, uh, Liga, and Sudamericana. And we have got uh, La Liga, and then we've also got an MLS player. So the MLS player there is the only one that's not worth really anything at all, which is nice. And then just give me a few more Liga earns, man. This, this is where all the juice is at. We've got a Bundesliga player here, probably. No, we don't. We've actually got, we've got two from La Liga there again, and then we've got a uh, Serie A player as well, which is really nice just to keep it nice and cheap on the cheap side for the other segments as well, which is really nice. So here we go, guys, with another one. Liga needed, or Eredivisie for that matter. Liga in there, nice, that's a nice pack there. We've got two Liga earns. We've got a Bundesliga, Premier League, and La Liga, which is just absolutely brilliant. And this is the way you're gonna have to do it, guys. If you don't wanna spend four to 5K a common card, go and do it this way, and you will save so many coins, and you'll have such a big bank of players that you'll be okay. We've got another one there in a, in a, how do you say his name? Giroto from Nantes there, which is once again very nice. And we've got two more of these to try and pull a few more Liga and players. Let's hope we can. We want Nice or Lille really, would be nice. And we've got Felipe, we've got another Sudamericana, which is nice, but not a whole lot too good in that one. Felipe is actually quite good as fodder, just generally. Uh, but yeah, last one coming up guys, and then we'll get in to actually completing the Liga SPCs and showing you the cheapest ways to complete all of the squads. We've got a centre-back here. We've got Kurt Zuma, the cat, the cat kicker. Very interesting there. And we've got not a whole lot else in that one, guys. Still a decent pack. But yeah, let's get into the League SPC now and see how cheap we can do it. All right, guys, so bringing you back, we're going to start off with the Premier League one. And this is very, very easy to do. You know, your gold rares, you can go and pick these up very, very cheap. Um, like 800 coins a piece. We are going to use Scott McTominay. We're going to use a Gward. We're going to use a Leno. And we're going to use Nia Carte as our rares. And that is all from different clubs there, which is very, very nice indeed. Pop uh, Leno into net there. And there you go. You've got some chemistry there. And let's now go and have a look at our gold commons and see what we do have. So I think we can use Reed. We can use Vieira as well. We can use, can we use Mitchell? I think we can use Mitchell, which would be nice. Yeah, Mitchell can go in there. Reed can go in there. No, we already have Fulham in, of course, Leno. That's poor from me. Pop Vieira in there. Almost got the chemistry already. We just need one more player to get a little bit more chemistry and we can't use Andreas Pereira. But what we'll do here, guys, we'll actually go to the La Liga and we'll have a look at our comments from the La Liga to see what we can actually put together here. So we want high rated. Um, let's go for... Let's go for this Fran Beltran guy. Pop him in there. Go and get a striker. We can go and use Kike Garcia. Still all from one club and we need one chem point. So that's going to be easy to come by now. Um, and we can use, who do we want to use for this? We're gonna have to use maybe a rare. Let's just see what we can use. We're gonna use Lucas Vasquez to get that rating boosted up as well. That is a chemistry now gotten. That's so if that's a word I can use, gotten. Um, and we just need to pop in a few more gold commons 
There we go. Hopefully, this will get the rating, but we'll have to wait and see on that. There we go. Bosch. So he's a little bit more rating on it, so we'll go for a higher rated gold common here. We'll go for maybe Ander Herrera. Should get it, I hope. Pop Ander Herrera in there. And there you go, guys. Simple as that to get that one done. Of course, we've already done the Libsud, and I showed you that as well. We've got a small 50k pack there, which is really nice. And then for this one, this is only 77 rated, right? So what I wanted to do is for this, I want to use my silvers if I can. So we'll go for Sepe, we'll go for Makengo, we'll go for this guy here as well. We'll try and use all of these up, all from different clubs there, um, apart from that dude there who is not from a different club. My controller's just died, I can't believe that. I'll bring you back in a second. All right guys, we're back now, and I just put my controller on charge. Sorry about that, that's, that's really poor from me, but we're just gonna pop these guys in here, and that's gonna give us some chemistry. Not the most chemistry, but if you've got Italians, that is where you'll be really, really well served here. So we can pop this guy in, and there you go. That's 14 chemistry already. Oh no, it isn't. We've got this from the same club. So you wanna drop him, really, um, and then you wanna see what else we've got. Let's see if we can pop anybody else in here. So I'm gonna use him, and I'm gonna use this Inter Milan player as well. I'm not gonna position change them. I'm just gonna pop them in there, and then we're gonna go and have a look at our golds. The gold rares as well from this league, this area. I'm gonna pop Tammy Abraham in. That's gonna put us up to 13 chemistry, so we've almost got the chem there, which is really, really nice. And if we just go for Toloi, that should get the rating nearly done. Um, and then we're just gonna go for Bundesliga Silvers, or we can go for Bundesliga Gold Commons. And this should just get the rating quite easily from here, guys. So we're going to pop in Bittencourt. And then we're going to go for you. I'm going to go for you. And we're just going to see what the rating is on that. So we need a bit more rating. So what you want it to do here, guys, is you want to go to Gold Rare. Pluck out somebody who you know is cheap. Um, someone like Kramaric, a perfect, perfect example. That's up to 76. And now you won't need much more from this. A so Slobber Slide should do it, really. There you go, guys. Slobber Slide pops in there. And there you go, guys. That is another segment done for literally no coins for me. Um, it's just so easy to do. It's just so easy to do. But here is where it's going to get a little bit expensive. And guys, it's going to be impossible for you to go through and get every single card from the same club unless you're very, very lucky. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through here. We're going to take a look and see where we have got the most cards from. So Monaco's looking really good. There were five already. And Nonce has only got two. But that's nice. These, these kind of cards here are really nice just to stock up ready for your next run through. So... That is what you've got to consider as well, guys. You might not have a lot from certain clubs right now, but just to get them in the club for the next run through, uh, when you're feeling you know, bothered to do the bronze pack upgrade, uh, the silver upgrades and stuff like that, that is when you know that will pay dividends there, right? So let's quickly go through and take a look at the area of VC, even though I'm not expecting to have too much from here. Um, I think we're probably gonna go with Monaco for this. You know, We've already got five cards from Monaco, so it makes the most sense to go for them. Um, but yeah, guys, not a lot from the Eredivisie. So let's go back to Ligue 1 and let's go to Monaco. Let's pop these cards in. So we've got three rares there. Three of the only rares that I actually think are from Monaco. You might be better off going and getting Ben Yedder, honestly, uh, than spending on some of the commons. I'm not too sure on that. That might be, uh, might be a lie. But there you go, guys. So we're starting off there with five players. And now we're going to have to go and bite the bullet. So what I would probably do if I was in your position and in my position as well, is I'd go and take a look at the gold rares first. So we've got this Kamara. I don't think he actually plays there anymore. And you've got Gelson Martins and you've got Baldu. So you want to go and have a look and see how much these are. I don't know if all of these cards actually play at this club anymore. And it looks like Baldu does not. He does, but he's expensive. So let's go and take a look at Gelson Martins. He's probably expensive because he's a right mid. Not that expensive, to be fair. That's a, that's a decent one, that is. Nice little snipe there. Probably better off getting Baldu anyway. Um, Kamara should be cheap if he does play for them, which he does, which is nice. We can go pick Kamara up nice and cheap, or on the cheap. There you go, that's another player in. So make sure you get the rares first before you look at the commons. And you can see already here, we've already got the chemistry, I think, or we're very close to it, we're on 12. So we go and get Baldu as well. I think we need to go and get like, we'll have to go and bite the bullet on a few commons, but that's okay, that's okay. And you're gonna spend probably, usually around like 10 to 15K on this, but it's going to be worth it in the long run. And then you just need to go to Gold Common, AS Monaco, and pluck out the cheapest ones, which is probably going to be about 4K, if I'm guessing. It came down a little bit, actually. That's really nice. Okay, so we can go and get this guy. I'm just going to go and get the cheapest. Go and get this dude as well. That's 6K spent there. And then we have the chemistry, I believe, just by putting that, that guy into the midfield and dropping him on a CDM sound. 
So if we do that, then we do that. That's going to be the chemistry. And we just need one more player, guys. We just need one more player that we don't already have. Um, and that is going to be none of them. None of them. It's going to be Nubal. There we go. There you go, guys. That's it done. Very, very, very easy there, isn't it? Really, you know, you have to spend a little bit. But overall, we didn't spend a lot of coins there. And we've got it done very, very cheap. Uh, if you look at this here, 3,000. Uh, so 6,000. 9,000. Then we have got 10,000 there. 11,000 there. And you've got 14,000 there. And then the rest is... So you've spent 14k on that SPC. Just for me to get it done, it's okay. And you'll probably pack a few more tradable um, gold commas. And you should be selling them as well. You should be selling them back on to get the coins back. Let's go through and open our packs, guys. So starting off with the Jumbo Gold Pack. We're going to take a look and see if we do get any league and players. And there's no boards in this pack here. But let's see what we did get in terms of league and No league and We've got one. And that is going to be this dude here. And he is expensive. This is what I mean, guys. It's just easy coins. Just easy coins. And you're, you're dropping in a few extra players into the club as well here with another Serie A, another Serie A, and then a Premier League. And then you've also got a La Liga there. And I like to discard the contracts because I, I know if I need contracts, I'm going to be able to get them anyway. And you've got three position modifiers in this Jumbo Gold pack as well, which is really nice also. They probably sell for like 1400 or so, which is also really good coins once again, isn't it? So... I'm going to open the Prime Electra next. Give us some boards, please, EA. Go on, give us some boards. No, okay. I believe this is an 80-plus guarantee as well, which is a little bit disappointing. We didn't get anything there. Here we go again, guys. We've got some untradeable silvers. We have got Zima. We have got uh, this Libertadores again. And we've also got this Baldi. Who I actually... Well, Baldi, sorry. Not Baldi. I believe he played for uh, Spain in the World Cup, didn't he, that guy? Um, and that's just good. Good to stick into the club. We've got a small Prime Gold players. Once again, tradable here. No boards, which is a bad run through really so far in terms of getting actual content into the club. We've got this Diaz here, which is nice. We've got a few cards here as well. Nothing in terms of Liga and there, which is a little bit disappointing, but still okay. And then we've got the small rare gold players pack, which is a small 50k pack, which of course is going to have boards in it. What's it going to be? It's going to be an awful board. It's going to be Casper Schmeichel. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Another lib though, which is nice. You've got Kamara here as well, which is okay. I don't know if these are tradable or untradable or whatnot, but I'm going to discard them regardless. Then we go get a few coins for that, and then we've got the Prime Gold Players Pack, guys, to end off. It's just been easy. Easy runs here, guys. And that is the way to get it done nice and cheap. It's going to be boards again, but no walkout. It's going to be Stefan Savage. And, guys, the great thing, once again, about doing these league SBCs is if you want to go and get yourself the, the Jarzinho, for example, if you want to go and get all the winter wild cards, just run through these a few times, and you're going to be able to get everything done. Like everything that you see here, I'll say 2-2, Rodrigo de Paul, Mesut Ozil, Payet, you can do all of these so easily just by, you know, just being on the game and grinding the game, guys. Everything I've told you here works an absolute treat, I promise you. Just go and get it done. Yes, it's a bit of a grind, but once you've got through the first main grind of it, it'll become a lot easier for you guys. Look at that, 3.8k there, sold. It's just easy coins, guys. It's easy coins. If you want to just do bronze pack method anyway, you could just do that. But I'd recommend going and doing the League SBC. Saving for Team of the Year, saving for Friday, whatever you want to do. Go and get it done, guys. But it is an awesome, awesome grind. Bit long, but you'll pack lots of good cards. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell to so miss a video. But guys, it's going to be it from me for now, so take care.